Okay. So this was the one from the homework where it wanted you to write two equations of two different tangent lines, each of which is tangent to both graphs. So if you start by thinking, okay, if there's a tangent line, then you find their derivatives. And their derivatives should be equal to each other. And if you just set their derivatives equal to each other, that's just going to tell you that their slopes are the same as th at the x coordinate of 3 halves, which would be like right around here. I sketched these graphs, obviously. Here's y equals x squared. And then I found the vertex using negative b over 2a and got the vertex here. Found the roots of this one. We're at 1 and 5. And then I also, I didn't show it here, but I set them equal to each other to see if they crossed it all, and they didn't. So this was the, the general sketch. If you set the derivatives equal to each other, you will find that these have the same slope at an x-coordinate of 3 halves, which is right here, which means the slope at this point and the slope at this point is the same. But that doesn't mean that that's going to tell you anything about the tangent line, something that's going to be tangent to both curves. So while that's great, that's not unfortunately going to tell us anything other than the single location, x is 1 and a half, where this slope and this slope are the same. In reality, what we want to do here is we want to find a point here and a point here, such that when you connect those two points and create a straight line, that line will be tangent to both graphs. So you got a couple moving parts here. So the slope at this x coordinate on this graph is going to be the same as the slope on this graph, but it's at a different x coordinate. So what we have here is, yes, we want these two slopes to be equal, but this one's going to be at the location of one x-coordinate, and this one's going to be at the location of another. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to put some coordinates on here as the point of tangency on the y equals x squared graph. And the only way we can do that, we don't know the coordinates, so we're going to have to call the coordinates x, comma, and the y-coordinate will be x squared. That's the point of tangency on the first graph. The point of tangency on the second graph, we're going to call x, and the y coordinate will be negative x squared plus 6x minus 5. So we have an xy coordinate pair and an xy coordinate pair. The problem is these x's are different values. So I have to somehow differentiate between this x value and this x value. And that's going to be fairly simple, and we're just going to use subscripts to do that. So we're going to call this x sub 1 and y sub 1. And so this is x sub 1 and y sub 1 for the derivative there, too. So the coordinates I'm really going to call x sub 1 and then <coughs> x sub 1 squared will be the point on the first function. And then on the second function, it'll be x sub 2, so my second x coordinate and my y coordinate will have subscripts of 2 on the x as well. So I've just, all I've done really is I've labeled, labeled two points. It looks a little confusing because these x's needed subscripts of 1 because it was on the first function, and these x's all needed a subscript of 2 because they're on the second function. But what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take the slope, I'm going to use a slope formula. This y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 needs to equal the slope of this line, which is going to be given by either derivative. doesn't really matter. I'll set it equal to the first one. So down below, I'm going to do my slope formula, the y-coordinate. You don't have to copy this down. I'm going to put this video online. The y2 minus y1. over x2 minus x1. And that slope needs to equal the slope of this curve at x1. So I'll just set it equal to 2 times x sub 1. 
I also could set it equal to this slope. This is a subscript of two I forgot to write in there. I forgot to write all of these in here. <laughs> I could have just as easily set this slope, y2 minus y1, equal to the slope of the curve over here. They should be the same as the point. So this equation is the one I'm going to solve, but my issue is that I have x1s and x2s floating around. But what we do know is the slope at x1 needs to equal the slope at x2. The slope here should be the same as the slope here. So I'm going to set these two equal to each other. 2x sub 1 equals negative 2x sub 2 plus 6. And so this will kind of be like a system of equations. There is an equation with x1s and x2s. Here's an equation with x1s and x2s. So the simplest way to solve it, it's far from simple, but it's the simplest, is just to solve for x sub 1 and divide both sides by 2. You're going to get negative x sub 2 plus 3. And we'll use this to substitute in for our x sub 1s above. <laughs> Oh, I've got a third one over on this side, too. So it'll be negative x sub 2 squared plus 6x sub 2 minus 5 minus, and I have to square this, and it's a binomial, so I'm keeping it in parentheses, over x sub 2 minus my substituted equals, and again, I'm going to substitute in for x sub 1. So it's tricky and it has to be kept pretty neat so your subscripts don't turn into coefficients or multipliers or anything. Um, but if, essentially it gives me an equation that's all in terms of x sub 2. So I'm not going to do this all out, but I can solve for x sub 2. And you're going to get, it's a quadratic, so x sub 2 either equals 0 or x sub 2 equals 1. Is that right? Or is it 1 or 2? I think it's 1 or 2. Sorry. I just don't want to go through all that algebra right there. Um, once you get these answers for what could the x coordinate be um, in equation 2, you're pretty much done. You can find the corresponding y coordinate. So if x is 1, you go through negative 1 squared plus 6 would be negative 1 plus 6 is 5. 5 minus 5 is 0. That gives you the point. And your slope on that function at 1 is negative 2 times 1. Negative 2 plus 6 is 4. <coughs> and you'd write the equation of the line that has a point at 1, 0 and a slope of 4. That's going to be right here. There's the tangent line that goes through 1, 0 on the second curve and has a slope of 4, so it's going to clip the first equation over here. And then your second x2 coordinate is 2, comma. you'd plug it back in, you'd get negative 4 plus 12 is 8, 8 minus 5 is 3, so you'd get the point 2, 3, and the slope at 2 would be negative 4 plus 6, which is 2. And that would give you a second linear equation, which would be that second and initial one, actually, that we sketched in there. Easy stuff, right? Can you follow it? Any questions on what I did there? In summary, I took two hypothetical points of tangency and I calculated the slope between them and set it equal to what the slope should be. And then I just did a system of equations that was dependent upon the fact that the slope of the first curve should equal the slope of the second curve. So I set those slopes equal to each other and set up that system of equations and solved. Michael. Um, this would be more of a bonus question. So I'm not going to put more practice anywhere for you, but um, 
I thought it was good. That was very good concepts worth going over. Um, so that was number 79. Okie doke. I'm going to show you something else that some of you may 